Hi and welcome. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Sandy, Lolly and Sand, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. So, as usual, I'm checking to make sure this is working. And now, you know that being Canadian, we talk a lot about the heat. I'm going to say one thing, one sentence. <laughs> I was out and guess what? My car registered 36 degrees Celsius. Fwa. Okay, end of that. No more talking about that. Hey there, say hi. Um, I just wanna do a quick recap. So this is the card we made earlier this week and this is using fancy phrases. So if you don't um, have this set yet and you're kinda of, hmm, you can read all about this on my um, on my blog post. I'm gonna, I think, oh, I do have, yeah, I, I did put the, um, uh, my blog address at the top. It won't necessarily direct you straight to that one though. So anyway, hey Lee, hey Rosemary. Oh my goodness. All right, so I say we get started. Queen Anne's Lace. Oh, now I noticed, I did, I don't listen, but I did watch and I noticed that I was a little bit too far up. I did also notice that I don't have a bracelet or rings on. Somebody was rushing around. <sighs> Somebody was. This looks like a good spot right here. I'm waiting for the camera to catch up or for Facebook to catch up. Hey, Valerie, good morning to you as well. For us, it's two in the afternoon and I'm not saying anything about the weather. Mm -mm. I promised. Anyway, so this is a really, uh, this, this set intrigued me right off the bat when I saw it in the catalog. I thought this looked really pretty and it's a two-step. So in my case, normally with two-step, I would do this first and then this. Now you're going to see when I'm stamping and you'll see why I've actually, I'm going to do it the other way around. I know, rebel or what? Anyway, and I do like these sentiments in this. And actually what I really like, see if I'm holding that nice and quiet. Or like, you know, without jiggling it. Um, I like how thin these are, which is really nice for stamping. Number one, you get this really, really nice uh, crisp image. And it's nice for heat embossing as well. Hey, Claire, welcome. Alrighty. Okay, so I say, yeah, let's get her going. So first thing is, I'm going to need to protect my desk. And... I'm looking for my supplies. Yeah, a little unorganized this morning. Or, I mean, this afternoon. This morning I was unorganized too, though. Okay, for some reason I cut two of these, probably because that's what I do. So I'll set that one to the side. Hopefully we won't need it. Um, let me think. Oh, I was gonna show you which die, because I always get asked that question, which die of the stitch rectangles was that? So I leave mine in place. So the way I see it is we're looking at one, two, three, the fourth one. And that would be the right size. And this does have the stitching on it, as you can hopefully see. Hopefully. Anyway, so that will help. Four from the inside. The fourth from the inside on the stitch rectangles. And those can go. All right, so I'm stamping right on here. Hey, Norma Jean, let me just check that out. Oh, you can send us that weather anytime. Oop, I said weather. I said I wasn't going to say weather. You can send that to us. 21 degrees. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, so this is Night of Navy. And as I said, I've already die cut it using the stitched rectangle dies. And now this is an older version. Um, the newer ones are a little bit different. I think the name's a little different too. I don't know what it says on here, but um, in the catalog it shows uninked craft pad and whisper white refill. So if you already have one of these like me, or if you already have the one and you need more reinker, you can actually order the reinker separately. It's really thick and goopy. Hey, Kathy Jean. So when you put it on, I don't happen to have one, so I can't demonstrate it right now, but you would take something like an old plastic spoon or just or a spoon, whatever. You're gonna put the ink on and you're just gonna go like, like so, pretend it's open of course, and then massage it in and then do it again. 
Now I'm showing you a different direction. I did lines and then I did dots. I'm just playing with it. It's like coloring, you know? Anyway, and I don't, I haven't used this a lot. And my issue was I didn't have it inked up enough. So anyway, it should be. You're going to see a lot of color in here. Going to see a lot of color. And that's just because um, when I was playing with it, I was going back and forth with colors. And as much as you think, okay, so I, I stamped and then I put this on top and went, you know, back in and did another one. Well, as it turns out, um, the color from stamping on here transferred a little bit. So, and I know I don't normally hold this up, but... And I am making sure that we're good in inking it. I'm seeing that I'm getting ink over here, so I will clean that. Alrighty, with the cloth that is usually... Oh, I bet it's in the drawer right there. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. We'll just pour this poor, this poor rag. You definitely need to keep something handy for quick cleanups. Okay, I say we're ready. So, and if I look at the picture, I just want to show you this because it's it's a little bit hard to see. When I look at the picture and I see this is kind of about that angle, I'm gonna kind of stick to the same thing. Gonna. I always tell my kids not to say gonna, and who says it a lot? me hands up me does that make you cringe or what so while that's sitting there I'm just gonna close this I said gonna again oh my gosh <laughs> so what have you all got y'all what has everyone got planned for the weekend I might do two of these I may not but I might deciding okay so then Oh, if I was going to do two, I would have to do them right away because otherwise, you know, I'll get ink on it. So I'll see which one I like better, seeing as I did cut two. So, my weekend, I'm doing some training with my my uh, little stamping family tomorrow in the morning. Okay, I do see ink there, but I think we're going to be okay. I want What I wanted to do is get this top flower a little bit higher. Which again, when you're stamping right in front of yourself, is quite easy. So I do want this to do its thing. So don't move. <laughs> like it can hear me, you know. Alrighty. So I am. I am glad you're you're here, and I'm glad you follow me. I'm, you know, that you're you're with me when I do these uh, videos. Um, and it's it's nice. I really I really do like this now. One thing I just thought of, this is a photopolymer, so really I should have something underneath. Um, I don't think these two pieces of paper really count for much, but that worked out nicely. So I just like to leave it there, you know, just let it sit. And it takes a couple seconds to dry, and that's probably how I transferred the ink as well, is that I, I wasn't being patient. Oh, and Lee, you're a part participating in a virtual card making retreat all day. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Valerie, thank you. You love my videos and me. That, that makes me feel really good. You know, it's the support that makes the difference. And, and support is more than one thing. Of course, it's ordering. But the other thing is just support, you know, that we, we need each other when in times like this or in pretty much any time when you think of it. And uh, it's just nice to get together. Okay, so I'm going to do my very best to lean over as much as possible and aim for the flowers so bear with me while I keep picking peeking left and right so when I did my um, original um, I had put down the Knight of Navy oh that's the Knight of Navy ink by the way because I put down the ink first and then put the flowers on top but to find you'll see how oh perfect you see that is really hard to see when you have my eyes, it's really hard to see. And boy, that is bang on. And I also like the look of it better with the blue on top because it kind of breaks up the white a little bit. Let's see if I can, let's see if we can do that twice. And I do want to just give this a weak clean because it may have a bit of white on it. May or may not. And you notice I don't have to ink up the entire stamp because we're just stamping up here. Alrighty, so let's do that one more time because you might as well have extra cards, you know, for later. To make later we're just we'll just stick with this one card oh 
This is what you like to do with pencil crayons. Interesting, yes. There we go. Wow, two for two. Weehaw. I am on a roll. I say that because whenever you do a video, it's like the worst things happen. So I like both of these. They both turned out. I like this one. It's a little higher, so I think this is the one I'm going to use. And I just want to show you something. I was doing more. I totally missed. So this is when I did it. Did the white after. If you can see, hopefully, if I hold that still, how, how far off I was with that. So I thought I'll just try it again since I messed it up and I missed again. And I think that one is, this one's after before. No, this one's after as well. So it, the way it dries is a little bit different. So apparently I have lots for cards now. All right, so I'm gonna give that a couple seconds just to set. I find like a whisper, the, um, that whisper white ink, other than the fact it's very sticky, um, it takes a little bit to dry. Oh, the stamp, you like the stamped off doubles, awesome. Thank you, Valerie. I, you know, it, my plan was to have that on the card and then I switched. Okay, so here's a color I don't often use. This is Sahara Sand. Um, I'll just show you the difference. Okay, this is, this looks like a dog's breakfast because remember I said I was playing with colors? This was from earlier this week and this is me playing, this is where I stopped. But this is how I decide on what the color looks like on the paper. Because what it looks like, you know, and these are the blends and you can see how you lose a bunch of them. Anyway, I just want to show you the difference. The, the idea here was to show you the difference between um, crumb cake and Sahara sand. So this is very light. And then I have, this is also Sahara sand. If This is from the neutral 6x6 six six, um, designer series paper, which is really pretty. So this side's denim. And I think we've established that I like polka dots <laughs> a lot. So that's what we're sticking with. Oh, I better just check. I think I might be up too high again. I think it's about here. I don't know about you, but the video looks very animated. Like my movements are like this. And I don't know if that's just the, um, the connection or I don't know what. Anyway, oh, we were talking about this. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by 11, which is the length of the paper, and it's scored using this guy at five and a half. So what I wanted to do is, we're gonna go over this again on, I like my cards to be good and square. You know what I mean? I don't like when they're like off kilter, and this one has to be like right on. So I can see my score line, and I can feel this edge, so that's going to be the inside of the card. I never want the edges on the outside. That's from cutting that it pushes down. So one of the easiest ways, or if you're just learning how to, and it sounds funny, but you'd be surprised when I started out how I could not, could not get these, get my cards straight. Hey Lisa, welcome. And as you can see, first time out. It used to be I would be off and then I'd have to do it again. This part of the trimmer is perfect for that. So just kind of a nice little tip again. All right, I'm trying to not get this blue onto the card. So I thought I would also try something a little bit different other than the color. And I made this go from edge to edge. So this piece is the same as this size, which is this is five and a half and this is four and a quarter. So I'm gonna glue that down. And it's not something that I often do. I think I actually wrote that in my, in my blog, which is ready, just waiting for the video. And um, just to say that it's, I don't often, I don't often use this color, I don't often do this. So if I want this straight the first time, and I really would, I have to put enough glue on that I have that wiggle time, that's number one. And two, I like to stand my card up. So I, I know that the one edge is straight on. Oh, I got my fingers out with almost zero ink. So you can use the edges, I mean, use the desk to get it straight. And when you're happy, just burnish it. Ta-da! I have to tell you, this is really hard to photograph. So my pictures aren't gonna be quite as stellar as usual, in my opinion. All right, next is Ribbon. I know sometimes I shy away. I just use a little piece. 
um, scissors. Yep. This for this card. Given the size of this, I would go right about there. I like to. This is how I decide. You know where it's going to be, and so on. Now you can cut wherever you want because you can always change that. Even when it's even when it's down. So I found a I I oh that's not the good one. I wrecked my good I wrecked my other one. Believe it or not, this is that's the stamp and seal, and that's the one I wrecked. Is it? Yeah, I did. Well, okay, it got wrecked. My bad. It's very sticky, by the way. Um, where did I actually put? Uh, you know what? I put some of it in my photographs. Hmm. So it's not here. And that one, I kind of, well, broke, wrecked. And I did look at the video, so that was my fault. There it is. Okay. As an alternative to the stamp and seal, I still have some fast views. <laughs> so you don't need much, and it's it's almost, well, unless you turn it that way and see the shine, you can't really see it. So when what I discovered also, which isn't new, is that you can actually peel this back up if you have to, if you're not happy with it. And I'm pretty happy. I like the angle. So I want this piece to sit down. So did I not get my glue dots out? Oh my goodness, somebody was like, definitely, there we go, got them. And the take your pick tool. Phew! We got it going. <laughs> All right. Now, I, the reason I'm putting this here is simply to hold this down. I like my loop where it is. I like everything about that. That's just going to hold it in place. And you don't need a ton of them. Like, one really does the trick. And now it's time for dimensionals. And seeing as I have these edge pieces, why not, right? Why not? So here's my question for you. We've all been through the catalog, like what, 100 times? We've all been through the catalog. Is is the um, Queen Anne's Lace, is that a set that you kind of went, nah? Or you went, oh yeah, I can see possibilities with that. I'm curious, because everyone kind of looks at stamps a different way. So what do you think? What, what did you think when you saw it in the catalog? And sometimes it has to do with the samples too. That kind of makes a difference. I wasn't overly thrilled with the samples, but that's just me. I'm very picky. Picky, picky, picky. I'm trying to think of what it looked like actually. Hmm. Hmm. What did it look like? I do have the catalog here, but we're going to skip that part. And if you're wondering, where's the sentiment? It's coming. Good thing about using the dots is you can use them as lines to line this up. So as you can see, it's a really plain card. We're not done, of course. You skipped by it, Lee. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know it caught my eye the first time because I was only looking for things that had that little new symbol beside them. I knew I wanted to, like, just show me the new stuff. Just show me the new stuff. <laughs> But this is pretty. And you know what? My original thought was I wasn't going to do this on navy. You know, I was going to I was going to do it on white and, you know, green and whatever. Green green for the stems. And then I realized that I really haven't used the the white ink like hardly ever. So, um I thought it might be time. Okay, so here's my little scrap. I've already heat embossed best wishes. And this is what I mean by it really, really heat embossed beautifully. It's so crisp. Sometimes if the letters are like really close together, which these aren't, it's kind of like, they kind of melt together. Oh, and Rosemary says it didn't hit you at all. You like the blossoms and sunflowers. I have seen so many gorgeous cards in the last like few days using the sunflowers, for example. I'm pretty sure that, uh, it will be on my list, just not quite yet. Okay, so the same thing that we did the other day where we're using this little, whatever you call this, this little space in here. We're gonna line up the uh, sentiment as close as we can. And it does take a little bit of finagling and well, that's okay. And I know on my sample card, I almost, I almost, I got really close. So that felt really close, oh yeah. That gives me the straight edge. So all I should have to do, one would think, is just move it forward. 
but you know I have to I have to make it as difficult as possible. I'm kidding, of course. Now with this, I should be able, now I can see that that's quite crooked. So I really want to be on the grid line. And is that too far down? A little bit. I can just about see, maybe, I don't even know, is that even in the frame? Let's see. Hey, Jack A. You know what? I, that's part of the, yeah. Thank you. You like when I demonstrate a stamp set and then see how gorgeous the stamp set really is. And that is one of the really beautiful things about being a demonstrator is because there are literally thousands of gorgeous stamp um, cards and projects, mostly cards, on the private board for demonstrators called the Demonstrator Planning Place. You have to be a demonstrator to be on it. And um, just commit to it, right? Just do it. <laughs> there, done. And um, so we get to see a lot of ideas before everybody. Well, one, because we got the products before you. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying. Um, I didn't see anything like this, mind you. All right, so this is the mini trimmer. And yes, again, just like I said on Monday, um, this is now available to demonstrators to purchase. So, and I love it. Like, you know how much I use it a lot. And um, yeah, just sign up and be a demonstrator. And you don't have to do what I do. You don't, you don't. All right, so this is too long, clearly. But I do have a thought. So I have lots of thoughts in my head. Actually, my head's just swimming with thoughts right now. My one question was, what am I going to do for my Tuesday video? So Tuesday at 2. So I can't see the words right now. So what I'm going to do is, with the triple banner or banner triple punch, take a little bit off. Nope, still can't see it. So we're going to take a little bit more off. I have to turn it towards myself to get it. Oh, stop moving. To get it straight. Mm, oh yeah, that is straight. Good. Phew. Okay. Now you might be wondering why would I leave that long end? Just to be different. <laughs> Just to be different. No other reason. No other reason. Actually, there's a couple. There. It turns out there was a method to my madness. And I'll show you what that is in a moment. So these are the mini dimensionals. If you don't have them, you can use the big ones. Just cut them. I still do that. All right, and then peel this and this and whoa, my light just went very light on me. Okay, so when this is whenever I know where this is going, but when I'm deciding where things are going, I'm like, nope, too high. Nope, nope, nope. Nah. And then I went, why don't I put it right here? This is like something I don't normally do. Thus, this one's not really going to do very much, but these two are going to hold it down because you can't really stick this very well straight to ribbon. Guess what? It's done. I know. And you might be saying to yourself, where's the bling, Sandy? Where, 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 where? I did look at it. I did. I, I brought out a bunch of different things and I went, you know what? I like it. Simple. Here's the original. Eh, okay, up a little higher. Yep. You know me, I try not to aim for center. It's just the way I do things. Just the way I do things. Um, I do want to remind you that bonus days are on, which means in Canada, well, you can only shop with me if you're in Canada. So it's kind of a given. In Canada, um, it when you when your order is $60 or in $60 increments, you get a $6 bonus day coupon to use in August. It's kind of cool. So I will have the link above for shopping. All right, so what do you think? I know it's, you know what? Which is the one I just did? This one. I'm just gonna hold it like that because on my screen it looks really pale. And um, my background for photography is kind of like this. It's like a wood grain as well. And it makes it really hard to see. So like I said, the pictures were kind of hard to figure out. Um, but anyway, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you do like them. Thank you. You're not just being nice, right? <laughs> anyway, again, the link to shop will be up above. I, I would very much like 
you to share my video if you can. Um, again, shop with me, of course. Head over to, I guess I should put the link in here. Head over to YouTube and subscribe. That's where all my, like you can see all the videos in one spot. And, uh, but then again, if you want to read all about all of this, it's on my blog and the video will be on my blog, but not till tonight. And when you go to my blog, there's a newsletter you can subscribe to. It will pop up. So darn little pop-ups. I have something popped up and it will, um, there you go. See if those are centered. Keep holding everything like way up here. So, oh, thank you. Oh, you love the color combination, Rosemary. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? I did. I did try the beige with it. I did try, I tried a lot of colors. Well, actually I tried three. <laughs> That's a lot for me. That's a lot. Decisions, you know, decisions. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Oh, under half an hour. Wow. We are cooking. Literally. I didn't talk about the weather. We are cooking. So, my friends. Oh, you know what? I didn't tell you where the ribbon's from. Let's back that train up just a tad. You know, it's on my blog. But anyway, this is the Flowers for Every Season ribbon. Um, it's a combo pack which comes with hmm hmm two others i just want to show you one thing i really liked about it and that is that i could you could see through it so just a little bit under here you can see i just thought that was kind of cool and just a different look for the ribbon so <laughs> all right my friends i'm gonna say i'm gonna sign off now thank you so much thank you for sharing thank you for your comments i appreciate your likes your follows everything all that helps my little business um maybe just be a slightly bigger business that would be awesome <sighs> anyway have a wonderful weekend um i'm saying it stay cool stay crafty okay bye-bye <laughs>